what's up y'all should boil your enemies with kudos and asking ye welcome to my channel this is movie catch up where i catch up with movies that came out in the cinema that i couldn't watch then but came out in digital hd or blu-ray then i caught up on them ah this is the action edition starting off with upgrade 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 was a phenomenal movie y'all and i heard the director already had like five million to create that atmosphere but you could see how repetitive it was with the set visits like they used somewhat the same set designs throughout like you found it in his house in that dude's house in the garage you know car, car crazy chases seemed in one location ah even that high-tech car seemed like one car like all the cars seemed normal except that one car you know like they spend money in some smart ways but it still looked phenomenal the story is still phenomenal and the fact that it ended with the program like being victorious and murking everybody including the detective that was that was bold move i hope it gets a sequel like yeah, that was phenomenal let's give it up for what's his name logan marshall green oh his performance as the robot to the AI as it controlled his body, how robotic he was. Like the performance wise, the director and the lead really shined in this movie, including the production design and everything else. But you know, those two people shined in this. Yo, like they need to team up again. Like Hollywood needs to put those two in something bigger. I feel like the world is waiting for that. <laughs> Uh, did you give this book like a 8 out of 10? Yeah, 8 out of 10. Like I said, you know, once you knew the budget and you were looking for stuff, you kind of pointed, saw flaws. But it was still phenomenal. It was still phenomenal, the story, especially the acting and the directing and the cinematography and the production design. Okay, a lot of things I could name, I could go on and on, but definitely watch this movie, 8 out of 10. Next movie on the block is Superfly. Superfly is phenomenal. Director X, Trevor Jackson. Uh, like they went, they went at it in this movie. And I heard it took them like 30 days to film this and a few months to just edit it and deliver it to the public. To be like kudos to them because that, that movie seemed perfect. It made me want to be more driven in my pursuit of filmmaking like the fact that he was able to accomplish all of that his love interests were phenomenal the different characteristics but they were all able to love each other that was interesting dynamic his friend his best friend what's his name something Mitchell I forgot his name but yeah that dude from the shy and Straight out of Compton and Kong Scarlet and you know who I'm talking about. Ah, the dynamic was cool and from the beginning to the end, even though they had that scruffle moment. You know the cops are like, dirty oh dirty oh that you see we roll it over kills me though. <laughs> it kills me though. Hmm. It was phenomenal. It was great, it was great. A lot of death, a lot of crazy death. I wonder if gang life was really like that this modern day. I don't know, I don't live over there, so yeah, give it an 8 out of 10 too. Understand most of these movies that give me 8 out of 10, that's parts, when it passes 7, it means it has rewatchable value. Like I recommend you watch it, it's not perfect. There's some rush things, there's some green screening that's off, but it's still phenomenal. It needs a watch, and you can watch it again. Tell somebody else to watch it again. So, they, some are superior in some sense, like Upgrade is better than Superfly, but I, even though they still 8, 8 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, the next movie on the block is Skyscraper. Skyscraper was a great movie. Like, it was a really great movie. Like, I, rem I recommend you really watch it. It was a great movie. It was a great family movie. I wonder why it wasn't pushed. 
because when I saw the trailers, I heard people talk about it. they weren't pushing it as a family movie. That was a great family movie. Like if you have a family, I recommend you watch it with your family. It's a great family movie. Action. I think it is PG thirteen, so you no. Know, it's such an underdog type of story. Or like the good dog <laughs> type of story with a great family. Like this family was so unstoppable. Everybody shined in their own sense in this family. Like, ooh. The best friend betrayal. But you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of interesting things about the stories. Some of it is so die hard. Like die hard on steroids because of that building. <laughs> but it was still a phenomenal movie. I recommend you watch it. The Rock is still his charismatic self. Still in the show. With his muscles and his missing leg in this movie. Ah, like I really recommend it. Like it's a family movie. I give it like an A out of ten. It's a family movie. Like, if I had a family, if, if I was rolling like that, I would definitely would have wanted somebody to tell me and I would have wanted to watch it with my family, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let me just add two more movies to this one. This is a part where it's not action. Should I add two more movies or just end it here? And the other two movies just wait until I watch something else. Nah, I'm going to end it here, I'm going to end it here, I'm going to end it here. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed.